Select the stage. Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 episode 42. Here we find the meaning of life in Death Chamber. Uh, <laughs> I see what you did! Yep, and you're going to see what else I did too. Ooh, yay, more codes. No way! You recognize her? Yeah! Sonic Adventure 1! It's Tikal from Sonic Adventure 1! She's also in the two-player mode, and of course, oh. uh, having, an, having an alternate character mode for her is easy. Well, cool. <laughs> this is Knuckles. Actually, no, it's Tikal. <laughs> Just skip everything. Who cares? <laughs> Just go ahead and skip it. Now, I must ask... Does yes. does her being in the game now, does it break anything for Knuckles, or does she have absolutely everything he has? It's everything he has. Okay, cool. Like I said, like I said, this is much more stable than the previous code where I would <laughs> pretend to be other characters. This is way more stable because it's just using the character model and just kind of putting a new skin over it. Well, not even that. It's, it's just easier, okay? You don't need to think about it. Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just thinking. You know, thank God Rouge doesn't have a level with an alternate skin, or else it, it would break no matter what. <coughs> well, anyway, uh, getting a hundred rings is a little bit tricky here because there's a lot of time blocks and well, a lot of these uh, yeah, time doors too. And you're also timed into getting the hundred rings, so you need to be exact as to when you get the hourglass itself. And you gotta know exactly where you're going. Oh, that, that's always the hard part with, like, knuckle stages, rouge stages. Oh, God. Yeah. Especially this one, because this is, like, the least fun one. One of the least fun ones. You gotta break crates, you gotta go through walls, you gotta hit timers, you gotta just go all over creation. And, uh, this just doesn't seem very fun. It doesn't. It's because it's not. It's, it's really not. And it, it feels like a labyrinth, too. It just feels like a fucking maze, even though there's a map right there. And here is actually a place where you're going to get most of your rings, but you have to dig it in the exact right spot, of course. Oh. Here's, where, here's where you're going to find most of your treasures. Having an electric shield is usually a good move. Yeah. What the hell? That drops, so that way you can break those crates up there, but if they have anything behind them, well, that's not determined yet. <laughs> it's all a mystery. Oh. Also worth noting that she can actually break the steel crate, so that's good, too. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> uh, so I'd like to take this time to ask, how's your day so far? Well, it just, it's doing pretty good. I recently picked up Civilization VI, and uh, I fucking love it. I think it's uh, see, it's probably going to be uh, somewhere in the top of my best of 2016 list, I think. Damn. And I, I look at all the Steam reviews, and I realize I'm in kind of a minority in thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what's wrong? It's fine. What's wrong with you guys? I'm having a great time. I already got, I got it uh, like three or four days ago, and I've already got like 24 hours locked into it. Oh, my God. I'm I'm in my prime. <laughs> the gamer hath become you. Yes. So is there a way easier way to get a hundred rings? Yes, but I don't want to worry about it. No, no, I'm I'm all for the cheese it method. I mean, you already have the fuck it button. Why not the cheese it method? Well, fuck it button is always nice with the side of nice fresh brie. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh like a spring bree. Flip the hour. <laughs> is this basically like a Mobius strip? Like, is Tikal in kind of like a. like in purgatory? She's hearing the well, exact same thing every day. Whoa! What the fuck happened? I wish I knew. Holy shit! What did you do? Somehow, the game just sent me here. <laughs> so this is what you were talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Well. Okay. Wow, that was totally worth it. I think we can still make this work, though. 
We like I got 82 rings. I I well, might be cutting it close, but uh. hey, you just gotta find that that one hallway that had rings in it and. The, oh. Well, the, <laughs> just go, <laughs> go. Okay, here, oh. here we go. We're at the start, so I, you don't have that much to go. Okay, three, four. Oh my God! Please uh, let that happen again. Damn it! Oh, it's two. Oh, it's two minutes. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Uh, well, hey, if we if we get it wrong the first time, we can see at least how much time we have left. All right, two minutes, two oh eight. Better, but hey! there we go. Good job. <laughs> That was a little piece of magic. Did not intend for that to happen at all. It actually... It actually caught what you were doing. I was like, hey! Play right! Actually go through the level, oh. check out our architecture, the get the rings! That was a magical moment. I hope you all enjoyed it. Anyway, time to find the lost chat. And that, that's all we're gonna get. It's basically all downhill from here. <laughs> Got to find the Chow and the Labyrinth, got to hit all these time turners. It's just going to take a good old long while. Now, I know it's kind of like the same level, but compared to Rouge's iteration of this level, I like this one a lot better. It's probably because Knuckles hasn't crashed the game yet. Well, no, it's to call. Anyway, um, <laughs> mainly because of this part right here. I like this underwater area. That's cool. Because what you do is you hit this switch, make your way back over there, Ooh. through oh. there. A bunch of ghosts, then a nice hidden area. Wow. The hidden, the hidden fourth sector that looks like all the other sectors that they had. So then you hit that switch, which brings up that and lifts the door up, and there's your chow. <laughs> Obviously, right? There you go. That actually was pretty cool. We'll be heading back to there uh, for hard mode, believe you me. Hard mode's yeah. very interesting. I think uh, hard mode and these hunting stages are probably my favorites because I love where they hide the emeralds and the keys and whatever you need to find. Select the stage. Uh, fourth one is definitely the hardest iteration of Death Chamber here. So let's see if uh, we can do it in five minutes. Okay. We did it. Record timing, too. Send that to the leaderboards. <laughs> Holy shit. You see that UDJ dude? Be beat a level in less than a second. It cause a stir in the task community because they shave it down to 43 and then 42 hundredths of a second. And then somebody somehow magically gets it to 39 hundredths yeah. of a second because he reduces lag so somehow. <laughs> Does not count. Not fast enough. All right, here we go. Coup de gras. Hard mode. All right, here we go. You, you've you talked about it for, for ages now. It seems like forever since <laughs> to get here. Let's see what you got. All right. First one is pretty tricky. Ooh. Ah, shit. Oh, God, oh, fucking. Timers are Whoa. faster. Oh, that there's ghosts in front of it. More ghosts, more spike balls. That's hard mode in a nutshell. Imagine that. Alright, fan out. Shit. Yep. Hard. Anyway, this is hard mode. Uh, the first one is uh, a little tricky to get. Okay, what the? Swear to God, you just have no choice but to get hit by that ghost. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the the put it past the designers to put in cheap hits. Especially in hard mode. Yeah. It's hard mode, you gotta be ready for anything. Anyway, our first key, I guess, is in here. But it's not enough to just, you know, get it. There's a bit of a trick to it. Hmm. Let's see if we can't clear the room a little bit first. Get started. We're gonna need the space. Essentially. By doing that little triple attack, are we able to actually break those crates? Oh. Way? Because that platform that falls in, e in the easier modes doesn't appear. You gotta find the right one. I forgot which one it was. That. So we hit that switch, causes that to open, and that's where the key is. We gotta find the right spot to dig. Oh, you gotta be kidding! Nope, I'm not. That's ridiculous! 
it just right. Eh. Fuck. <laughs> this might take some might take some time, so I'll take your bewildered reactions now. Good lord. And it okay, also doesn't help that the, the timers are they're a lot faster now, so you have to be right on the money, but it looks like no matter how fast you go, you're not getting there in time. Remember, if we didn't have codes, we'd have to try and do this legitimately. Which means getting this really tight, very, really very tight uh, time constraint in one of the first times you do it. Which means you gotta know exactly where to dig and how to dig and how to get there and still get points. It's ridiculous. It's, it's a task that is far beyond me and I will gladly admit that to everybody. So essentially, you're using Action Replay made this game, made this particular emblem doable. Doable? Probably not. More fun? Absolutely. Well, I just can't see, because you said you have to get the right there spot. We go. Oh. There it was. Okay, well, I guess it wasn't that bad. It still sucks, but. I feel like there should have been a marker or something. Yeah, uh, that'd that probably... Would been, that would have been appreciated. At least to stop the blind digging, because doing that is hard enough in and of itself, and it being so fucking cryptic, cryptic as to where it is. Alright, next one is a little bit easier. Whoa! A million miles a minute there, call. Speeding through time. Ah, shit. Well, that's okay. Oh, no. Oh. Because now we're, now we're at a better spot with less time on the clock. Get, get, get. Don't like you, man. Get back. I, I love Fuck the panic you. digging. I, I can always tell when you're panicking and trying not to get hit. <laughs> <laughs> Where you just go, ah, 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 ah. Shit, shit, shit. No, 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 Oh, artificial difficulty. You never get old. You never get old. <laughs> How do we make hard mode? Shit! We can't do flames underwater! Do the spike balls. Sir, are you mad? <laughs> can't do flames underwater? Haven't they even seen Kaizo Mario World? You can do anything. As long as it's in the name of being an asshole. And... Right, gotta lock up the second key. Okay. Oh. That's a crusher trap. That is. First thing we do is head up here to these scarabs. Really? You have to like There's a switch. Oh. That locks the that locks the uh, press there. Ah. So hit this switch, and you think, aha! I'll just go to where the chow was. But nope, no nothing doing. Just a one up. Hmm. Turns out the key is actually in the water. Oh, really? It may, it may seem like it's up hidden up here, but you actually head down there. And there it is. Wow. And you missed it. It's all right, try again. By breaking the laws of physics. Did you ever try these as a kid? Nope, this is my first time doing any of this, really. Okay. Like, I got a little bit far in some missions, but I certainly never got A ranks on any of them. How's a kid supposed to figure this out? There we go. Like, like in all honesty, how is a, a child whom this game was made for supposed to figure this out? Well, I wouldn't uh, be doing all this if the reward wasn't great. Here we go. Look, the third key was easy to get. Yeah, it was right next to the other one. And D. Well, whew. <sighs> okay. It's it's very very demanding, and sure, with some trial and effort, and maybe if the game kind of worked half the time, it it uh, would probably be doable. <laughs> but and <laughs> with my current skills and my life and the my stage. needs, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's head back to the Chow world. We got one more beginner race to do, and... Okay, Rouge, I'll give you one more chance. Oh, no. One more chance to prove yourself in the Chow world. Ba Wait. 
Whoops, I lied. What? Oh, hey. Chaos! Another Sonic, another Sonic Adventure One Face. It's Chaos Zero. Also appears in the multiplayer. Wow. <laughs> Just imagine this monstrosity coming to the kindergarten. I'm here to pick up my chow. I'm here to pick up little shitty. Ah. Yeah, Dangry, Dejimi, and Shithy are all having class together. They're all, they're all learning song. Just generic and song. <laughs> Shithy, Shithy recognizes that that is Rouge. <laughs> and he, and he, he don't like it. He don't like it. <laughs> hey, look at Omo Chow's theme. Oh, uh, well, cool. You get you get plenty of uh, emblems. You'll get different themes. So I guess we're going to oh. be trying out Omo Chow's theme at least for half an episode tomorrow, or not tomorrow, next time. <laughs> Just because it's too grating. Yeah. I love See, Shithy doesn't like that himself. So okay, we'll go ahead. <laughs> Well, fine, Shithy. I'll just go ahead and drop you off here. <laughs> I love how much oh. Shithy is just being like, No! No! I don't want to- know what you do to the game! Stop it! I want a tiger. I want a rabbit. I want love. I want food. Alright, All right, so I got Shithy's uh, run up to level 12, so I think that'll be pretty good for the race. Oh, nice. So we're going to be having a race to finish things off today. Chaos, pick up your feet when you walk. Just slosh around. Why chaos, though? Like, I you should, be a bit, you should be a bit more fluid in your motions. Oh, God. But, okay, I understand why chaos would be in the multiplayer, but I'm wondering why Rouge's model is replaced with chaos. Because Knuckles is replaced with Tikal. Hmm... Then who replaces... There's like, there's, like, the characters from the game, then there's, you know, one light side character and one other dark side character. For example, in the shooters, you got Tails, Eggman, Walkers, and then you got the light Chow Walker and the dark Chow Walker. That's their alternates? Yeah. That's kind of a letdown. But then again, who could you throw in a Walker? And besides, they're the hero and dark chow, respectively, so it's not like it's some random nonsense chow. So anyway, let's get this race started. Go for it, Shithy! I mean, it's a good thing that half of the other chows are currently blazed off their asses. Did you see all half of them were, like, dead asleep? Oh. All right. All right. Shithy. Way to make it out in front there, Shithy. Shithy. All right. Let's Shithy. go ahead and use our stamina to gain a lead. Let's go. Shithy boy, come on! Shithy, shithy, shithy. Oh no! no! Oh, you fucking fool! You loser! Oh god, fifth fucking place! Can you believe that shit? Goddamn failure is what you are! <laughs> I can also see you're panicking trying to restart the race. Panic? That was frustration! <laughs> Oh, Shithy. Try again, shithy. loser. Shithy. You fucking loser. Why do I even let you be alive? I could throw you in the Game Boy Advance machine and turn you into cyber dust. And you'll be just a distant memory. Nothing but a bunch of ones and zeros who exists only in YouTube. I told you never to go to the GBA realm, but you know what? Now, now we're gonna try again. Uh. You're gonna run this race. You're gonna fucking win it! You got me? Look, I'm gonna call foul. Clearly there was some tripwire on the course. I saw it. it. Everybody saw it. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt, but you, you pull that shit again? You, 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 your uncoordinated ass pulls that fucking bullshit again? Then I'm dumping you into the Game Boy Advance realm. You're gonna go the way of... Uh, I guess I'm gonna show that off for the first time, won't I? It's about time. I've been really curious about that. Yeah. Because you mentioned what it does at one point, and I've always been curious. A little uh, strategy on my part is to, well, well, fine. He won without even using stamina. See, where was and that he broke the last course time? record. Yeah, where was that last time, huh? I mean, look at you versus everybody else. You're a fucking monster. You should have scared the crap out of all these other chows. Well, at least you won the fucking race, at least.
That last time, don't even worry about it, but you will always remember that you are a failure until you can win like five races with no difficulties at all. This is just beginner races. You're losing to beginners, man. What the fuck? Newly out of eggs, chows, and you're losing to them? Let's see if you can do better in the second race. You see that number behind you? One? That's what you should be at all times. Number one. And you see that number one behind you? That's how many chances you have left, too. Oh. All right, he, he's got this now. I think, I think the message has been sent. Really? Because he's not starting out great. Shiffy! Come on, Shiffy! You're veering off course! It's your second win, you fucker! God, is it... Right. Oh, for oh, fuck's my God. sake! No. No, 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 no. We're not having that happening. We're fucking out of here. All right, that's a disqualification. That That is inexcusable. Shithi has proven that he is useless. Oh my god. When it comes to when it comes down to the wire, he oh shit. <laughs> when it comes down to the wire, when he has to prove himself, he fucks it up. I get a sex it. That works too. So alright. You don't have to run your stupid fucking race. I'll just have Dejime do it. Select the character. Dejime is a good kid. <clears throat> he knows what he's doing. Also, I, I also think it might have something to do with the fact that. Shithy really doesn't like Rouge, so of course he wouldn't try hard for her. But that was chaos. That was chaos, but it was Rouge. <laughs> chaos had to stank of Rouge on him. Like, no, you smell like that terrible bat lady. But Dejime, however, fucking loves Sonic. Like, he's fucking happy to be around him. It's like, oh boy, it's Uncle Sonic. See, I had no idea that emotions played the game, played part of the game. Of course they do. Hmm. And I am half just wildly doing whatever I want, and also showing off the depth and actual real, real true complexity of these little things. So fine! We'll just have Dejime run the race. His run, his run speed is even higher anyway. Hmm. It's all right. We didn't need a failure in the first place. Go for a real winner. Go let the guy with no legs beat you in a running race. That that is actually sad. See, uh, Deji may just sit and watch. Chiffy, sit and watch. I'm getting their names confused. Uh, don't, yeah, it happens to the best of us. It's all right. Off you go, Deji. <laughs> Look at that. No legs, and he's kicking ass. Okay, uh, maybe not as much ass as foretold. Yeah, there's another one. It's good and... to use stamina towards the end of the race, because that's when other chows start to boost up as well, during that last little hill right there. Don't you dare trip. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. You have no feet, how can you trip on them? <laughs> and, oh, gee! Oh, 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 that ooh. was down to the wire. Who get that yeah! was it. All that right. was it. That was the one. That was the run. Whew. Good job. We love you again. Well, not, we still love Dejime because Dejime did a great job. I mean, you're not like that oh, reject wait. that was running earlier. What's his name? Yeah, who cares? Yeah, no shit. Okay, Shithy. You know, I'll give you one last chance. Hmm. This, is, this, this is the level three race. If you can't win this, then there really is no use for you. So, let's just see how you do. Is this really a good idea to waste our time like this? I mean, you saw his performance in two races. Co hey, come on. Three strikes, you're out, right? I gotta be fair. Alright, alright, fair enough. So, if he doesn't win this, then I'll eviscerate him. I'll, I'll kill him right here and now. Great start. Like, snipers are already posed right here at the race. If he doesn't win, I'll kill him. How's that sound? How's that for incentive? Maybe you can grow a right foot so you don't have two left ones anymore. Sniper is trained on the target. If he comes in anything other than first place, take fire. There he goes. He's uh, a stamina at the end. Uh, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Breaks the course record in the process. Cancel the shot. So does this mean uh, Shithy is defecting? 
Either that or it means that he likes Sonic more. <laughs> no, that's what I mean. He's defecting over to the light side. Rouge, you... Uh, and, oh, hey, wait. look at that. Nice. Cleared all, cleared all the beginner races, so we get an emblem. But what that also does, in the process, is unlocks the other races. Oh, my God. Here's where our other four emblems are going to come, and that's just going to be one big race-filled episode, that is. Okay. So pretty much you choose whatever show you want, and these are challenge races, so you're racing it. Oh, oh God. Golden. Yeah. I might have to do some codes for the chows now. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I will uh, get back to you on that. See, we have a dark race, so really, I couldn't kill Shithy in the first place because I needed him. Okay, okay. But hey, good job winning Shithy's race, Deji May. Don't worry, buddy. Good job. Good job. Let's take you back to the Hero Garden real quick. So yeah. Now we're going to have you experience jo Sonic's Dream Collection. Let's have you play a good game, little Deji May. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. Don't worry about I'm it. never sarcastic. Right. Never sarcastic. Well, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. You will. <laughs>